Hi everyone, this is Chris again from Blackview Customer Support. Today, we're going to discuss about Blackview Cloud and SIM card activation. Blackview Cloud is a suite of a cloud-based feature for supported Blackview Dashcam, which include live view, video playback, push notification, GPS tracking, and remote video backup. Most Blackview Dashcam, except for those entry models. There are two types of cloud-compatible models. First is with the built-in LTE, which requires SIM card. Second is without the built-in LTE, which requires the hotspot, Wi-Fi hotspot, or the Blackview external module LTE, which requires also a SIM card. A free plan is available with basic features and limited live view time, while paid plans are available with additional storage, more remote downloads, and unlimited live view. No, users need to source the mobile data plan from their local telecom operator. You can either use a mobile hotspot from your mobile operator or a SIM card. Dashcam with built-in LTE models and Blackview external LTE module. It provides a mobile internet connections to enable Blackview cloud services such as live view, push notifications, GPS tracking, and remote video backup. It should be physical SIM card, a nano SIM card, data only plan which means no voice or sms required a 4g compatible with the network use in your country for that you may have to get a confirmation from your operator but generally 5g sim cards also support 4g and 3g networks to activate the sim card first you need to ensure that the sim is activated by your carrier Second, you need to insert the SIM card to your dashcam or to your LTE module. Third, you need to input the correct APN settings in the Blackview app under the cloud connection settings and then SIM card. APN or the access point name settings allow the dashcam to connect to the carrier's data network. Without the correct APN settings, the dashcam won't access the internet. For the right or correct APN settings, you need to check the mobile carrier's website or support. Typically, it includes the APN name, username, and password if required. 